besties, if you don't have kids, let me tell you a little secret. There is a time limit on being sick. And it's not that there's really a time limit on how long you can be sick, but there is a time limit on how long it's going to take you to get caught up after you've been sick. So every day that you're sick, that's like three days worth of cleaning that you're behind. So that's a little mom math for you. I watch a lot of daily cleaning vlogs and people are always in the content creators comment section like how does your house get so dirty every day and I'm like only people who don't have kids I think make those comments because it literally takes kids no time to make a mess I have a teenager who helps tremendously but even with her help I have three kids my parents a pig and a cat and it doesn't take long for everything to be unorganized a mess of course, I've been grocery shopping, but I've been just throwing things in there. So let's start with the fridge. I need to start resetting the house. I'm still not feeling 100%, but I just don't have any more time to waste because I'm going to get way too behind and it's going to take me forever to get all of this cleaned up. So let's start with the fridge. I hate a disorganized fridge. It just makes everything so much harder for me to find what I need when I go to the grocery store. Oh my gosh, why do my arms look so big? <laughs> That's a horrible angle. I digress. <laughs> my daughter convinced me to buy cage breed eggs because she works at a farm and she's all about happy chickens. I want my chickens to be happy too, but usually I just go for what's least expensive. I'm not gonna lie. But I realized that the 30 pack of cage free eggs was only about a dollar more than the abused chicken. So I went ahead and splurged the extra dollar for the cage free egg. We go through a lot of eggs. Tomorrow my daughter has state testing, so she has to be driven out of town. And big shout out to her friend, also is homeschooled, and her parents for taking her. Because I wasn't sure I was going to be able to take her because I was sick. And my car issues, they are coming to pick her up tomorrow, so I'm so thankful for them. I have really genuinely found some of the nicest families through the homeschooling program. I think it's going to be easiest to just like wipe one little section at a time and do one little section of the fridge at a time. So immediately I know I have not been feeling well by my groceries. Like if I didn't know that I was sick, I would know by the groceries that I bought because a lot of these do not make sense. Like I have so much yogurt and jello in this fridge. My kids love yogurt and jello, but this is just a ridiculous amount. Like every time I pull one thing out, I find more yogurt and jello. So I need to put these in containers and get it right up front so they can eat all of this before it goes bad because I literally have bought so much of it. So let's get this in this little container and get it all stacked up so that I can hopefully get them to eat as much of it as possible. I hate, I hate wasting food. I cannot wait until I'm feeling better. I just hate being sick. I know everybody hates being sick, so that's like such a stupid thing to say, but I just feel like I'm just way too busy to be sick. Anybody other than me before the pandemic would go to work sick and save your sick days for when you feel fine and want to go shopping. Like I always figured that if I was going to be miserable, I could be miserable at work and why would I want to waste my day off the company gives me on being sick? <laughs> Is that something people do anymore post pandemic? More jello more yogurt. Oh my god. <laughs> okay, let's keep working. By the way, I don't like these pickles. Okay, so we are back to cleaning. Something is spilled underneath the glass, but I'm clearly not doing that today. <laughs> We're not going for perfect here. We are going for better than it was. So let's push all this yogurt up front because we have plenty of it. <laughs> I feel like I must have had a fever when I was in the store because I got plenty of drinks and plenty of like yogurt and jello, like sick people food. I also think I rebought every condiment that we needed, we did not need in her entire house. So let's remove a few things that are expired and some of these half empty drinks that people like to put in the fridge and not ever drink again. Still finding more jello, pudding, and yogurt. So let's put those up front. Ugh, this is exhausting. Okay, I am going to put my little juices that were in the drawer over here next to the yogurt so I can get them more easily, make it look a little bit more organized. You can barely shut any of the drawers. Next, let's put the boba. I love mango, pineapple, anything. Like, I just crave mango and pineapple juices and teas. Oh, look, I've been wanting to show the 
these so i found a different brand the rico's chamoy pickles the ones that usually come in the pickle kits are the alamo so i was really excited these rico ones are like half the price so i got two of them so i could try them out and compare them i love chamoy pickles but they are kind of messy okay let's start putting everything back into the drawer we're getting we're making some progress here we're making some progress got these juices for my daughter my daughter and me both hide things in these drawers like from the little kids even though it is no secret because you know the drawers are see-through like she has these butterscotch puddings like nobody's gonna eat butterscotch pudding i don't know why she eats butterscotch pudding but somebody's gonna say in my comments they love butterscotch pudding <laughs> anyway she has those hidden she has the weirdest food hidden i think these are still good i don't think we're gonna throw them away we go through a lot of avocados and a lot of onions on days that I'm feeling better, I probably make guacamole like every day or like every other day. So hopefully those don't go bad before I get a chance to use them. This drawer is horrendous. So I'm going to have to take everything out and put everything back in. A lot of things that just stuck in this drawer that don't belong. Or of course my kids have had full access to everything. So a lot of things are not put in Ziploc bags or put in the or properly so I just need to go through everything and then wipe it out really quickly. I love sandwiches. I like to show different ways that I make sandwiches because I feel like sometimes you don't know the combination of things that taste really good together but on one of my sandwich videos somebody posted this isn't a cooking video it wasn't helpful. <laughs> this was an assembly video. I sometimes wonder about people's characters when you're just so angry over something that you watched on the internet like you had every opportunity to just keep scrolling but instead you decided to interact with the content creator so that you keep seeing their videos that you didn't want to see right that doesn't make any sense nobody forces you to watch stuff on youtube or on tiktok or wherever nobody forces you <laughs> if you don't like my videos then you don't have to watch my videos it's fine i'm i'm not offended i would like us to be friends because i'm not an asshole but if you are then you know we don't need to be friends but a little side note besties life is too short to be angry all the time like people are always angry like in their cars and just road rage and mad on the internet and just mad in life like life is too short to be mad all the time but don't let other people steal your joy and don't steal your joy from yourself because a lot of people like to steal their own joy by being mad all the time or being angry all the time like causing yourself like anger and stress that's that causes wrinkles and health problems. Okay, we're getting somewhere. We're getting somewhere. Ugh, there's so much. There's so much. Look at this angle. Oh, almost forgot to put my cookies back in the fridge. There's some cold foam because I thought I was going to be like that girl. And then I just realized that it's too much work to put extra stuff in your coffee. I've had this wine since Christmas, so we're going to go ahead and pull it out. Oh, I love this cream. I can't believe it's expired. Definitely need to pick some new one up as soon as I go to the store. My kids didn't eat all their chicken tonight, so we'll put that back. Two staples, besties, I keep in my kitchen if you don't know how to cook is sun-dried tomatoes and pesto because you can add them to so many dishes and it just tastes so good. My daughter literally left this can of menudo in the refrigerator and just put foil over it. That's her favorite, by the way. Well, her grandma's is her favorite, but that brand from H-E-B, she loves the broth for it, but I need to take that out and put it in a container. Also, they managed to open so many different cans of oat milk for the pig instead of using the same can. Luckily, Penelope goes through goat milk pretty quickly, so this won't last long, but that's kind of frustrating. I still can't believe I bought so many condiments when I went to the store this week, and we already have so many condiments. Like, I rebought ketchup and mayonnaise and mustard. We have like four bottles of mustard in the fridge. Let me just see if I can clean this up a little bit better. Does anybody else that creates content have like 10,000 or more videos on their phone? Like I am constantly clearing out storage and I still never have enough storage. Do y'all have summer plans? My life really doesn't change a lot during the summer. A random can of pumpkin that I was giving Penelope and then I found out that you can eat canned fruits and vegetables. I hated that I love chamoy. Okay, it's starting to look halfway decent. Not perfect, but still crowded, but better. At least it's more organized, right? Because my kids are homeschooled, my life just doesn't change a lot during the summer. So now let's start on the fridge. I mean the freezer. Oh my gosh. And I definitely need to reorganize my cabinets because my daughter's been doing dishes. 